Hey guys, welcome back to some more Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we defeated our rival Jerry, and we tried to make our way to the Elite Four, but we were actually forded by, um, because we didn't have a gym badge, so we decided to make our way through the forest room, and, uh, here we are. So, we're gonna make our way to the next town, because now we are on Route 2. And now we are in Pewter City. We were this close. <laughs> Let's see what you had to say. There aren't many serious Pokemon trainers here. They're all like bug catchers, you know. Just hobbyists. But Pewter Jitty... Pewter Jim... Jim's Brock isn't... Like that. Not one bit. Wow. Can't speak. Hello, sir. Pokemon learn new techniques as they grow. But some moves just must be taught by them people. A Pokemon becomes easier to catch if it has a status status problem, sleep, poison, burn, or paralysis. These are all effective. But catching Pokemon is never a sure thing. Let's go over here. <coughs> Do you know what I'm doing? No, I do not. I'm spraying repel to keep Pokemon out of my garden. Hmm. See what you have to say. Do you check out the museum? Did you check out the scene? No, I did not. Really, you absolutely have to. Mm -hmm. This is, this is it, the museum. You have to pay in to get in, but it's worth it. See you around. Okay. See ya. Uh, I'm not gonna go in there quite yet. We're gonna save that for later. Nidoran sit. Nidoran. Wow, wow. <laughs> Our Pokemon an outsider, so it... Frank, so it's frankly and hardly finicky and hard to handle. An outsider is a Pokemon you get in a trade. It grows fast, but it may ignore an unskilled trainer in battle. If only we had some badges. So that is true. If you ever uh, get a Pokemon in trade, um, they will gain experience a lot faster. That's just um, how it goes. Um, but you, like they said, you, you still need gym, ba um, gym badges in order to raise higher level Pokemon. The fairy come, came from the moon. That's what the rumor is. They appeared after moonstones fell on Mount Moon. Alright, well, I think we saw enough, so it's time to take on our first gym. So here we go. Hiya, do you want do you want to dream big? Do you dare to dream of becoming a Pokemon champ? I'm no trainer, but I can advise you on how to win. Let me take you to the top. Let's do it. Alright, let's get happening. First Pokemon out in a match is at the left of the Pokemon list. By changing oh okay, we already know this actually, because we've done it once before. So let's see. We're gonna go ahead and switch out to Riptide because I think he's way a lot better suited. Um, stop right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. Camper Leon will like the battle. He sends out a Geo dude. So I think this is the first Rock type we've seen in the whole game. So. Should have no problem because we're a water type. It's super effective. And he's gonna send out Sentry. Level 15.
Light years isn't time, it's measure measures distance. And you got 220 for one. Alright. I took that kid's lunch money, apparently. Alright. Yes. We're gonna go ahead and save the game, just in case. But I think we're gonna be okay. So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Peter's gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit and determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. Wahaha! You're gonna challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. Leader Brock would like to battle. Okay, so we should take out his Geo Dude, no problem with the water gun. Yep. Got pretty good experience points from that. Now his Onyx might take a couple. Might take like maybe two. Or or maybe maybe just one. <laughs> so this is this is the reason I like training at the beginning because it makes everything a lot faster. So if you would have chosen uh Charmander to begin with, this gym battle would have been a lot Oh, I did not read it. On you, this is the official Pokemon League's Boulder Badge. You received the Boulder Badge from Rock. So if you chose Charmander at the beginning, you would have uh, had you would have struggled a little uh, more on this, this gym battle because you wouldn't have that many good uh, types. You would have had to wait for Metal Claw in order to actually do something against this Pokemon. Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables you to use the use of the move flash outside of battle. Of course, a Pokemon must know the move flash to use it. And we got money for it. Sweet. And Rip types evolve him. Awesome. So, as I was continuing on what I was saying, if you would have chosen a Bulbasaur, you also would have had a, a pretty easy time on this gym. It just depends on what you choose. But later on, you know, you would have been fine, I would believe. I, I'm, now, if, if I'm not. Incorrect. I believe Bulbasaur is a lot easier to train and uh, for new, new players. Charmander, it'll take some time to actually like level him up and stuff. A TM technical machine contains the technique for Pokemon. Using the TM teaches your move that contains two Pokemon. A TM is good for only one use, so when you use one, pick the Pokemon carefully. Anyways, TM39 contains Rock Tomb. It hurls your boulders at a foe at, and lowers its speed. So he would have actually used that move against us, but I think I defeated him a little bit too quickly. <laughs> anyway, so I think that's everything we had to do here. This place was kind of. Oh, yes. Look kind of suspicious. Sometimes you can find random items hidden. There's an item later on that'll help you kind of uncover these items, but sometimes you just, since we don't have that now, we just, if it looks suspicious, click A on it and maybe you'll find something good. Let's go ahead and heal. Thank you. Have we talked to anyone in here? I, I don't think we have. So let's go ahead and talk to people. What? Team Rocket is at Mount Moon, huh? I'm on the phone. Scram. Okay. Yawn. When Jigglypuff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Me too, Snore. I really want a Pikachu, so I'm trading my Clefairy for one. I'm trading Pokemon with that kid there. 
I had two Pikachus, so I figured I might as well trade one. Hi, glad to meet you. That's unfriendly of you. How about saying hi back? So come on, tell me about yourself. I love to hear your profile. Tell me something about yourself. What's your profile? Okay. I am a Pokemon friend, so you can kind of... Tr uh, I am... I don't know what to put for this. Um, I don't know what to put for this. <laughs> oh, you decided not to. You're Frickle, aren't you? I suppose. You put me under a lot of pressure there, alright? I actually don't remember what that does. Uh, it might be something like if, uh, if you decide to battle someone online, maybe it's like you're phrase or something i don't remember what that is yes yes fifty dollars for a child ticket would you like to come in yes i would right 50 thank you aerodactyl fossil a primitive and rare pokemon hello sir i should be grateful for my long life never did i think i would get to see the bones of a dragon Kabutops, Fossil, a primitive and rare Pokemon. I want a Pikachu. It's so cute. I asked my daddy to catch one. Yeah, Pikachu soon, I promise. Space Shuttle. Okay. This month we're running a space exhibit. Okay, that's... Okay, it was like... Isn't that supposed to be fossils? Moonstone, huh? What's so special about it? Looks like an ordinary rock to me. A meteorite that fell from Mount Moon. It is thought to be a moonstone. July 20, 1969. Mankind's first set moon. <laughs> Mankind first set foot on the moon that day. I bought a color TV just so I could watch the news. Wow. some history there. Okay. Well, it looks like that's everything that we actually had to do in this uh, town. Notice, thieves have been stealing Pokemon fossils from Mount Moon. Please call the Pewter Police if you have any information. Oh, Andy! I'm glad I caught you Cut up to you, I'm Professor Oak's aide. I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. I received the running shoes from the aide. Andy switched shoes. Press B to run, but only when there's room to run. Well, I must be going back to my lab. There's a letter attached. Dear Andy, here's a pair of running shoes from my beloved challenger. Remember, I'll always cheer you. Don't ever give up. From mom. So we, if we press B now, we can move a lot faster than we could before. So that's going to help us on our journey quite a bit. But having got those and having beat the Peter City Gym, uh, we're going to end this episode here. So if you like this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And I hope you guys are happy.